everyone so this is just a chit chat video I wanted to discuss naturals versus synthetic so I know everyone has an opinion on this I'm going to start by off topic giving you my scent of the day because I'm really excited uh, we were sent chameleon and dodo uh, Dan and I by the lovely Victor Wong of uh, zoologist zoologist perfumes and that's going to be my scent of the day. I wore it last night as well. I'm really loving it. Sweetie's just got on the table, so that's why we're wobbling. So, scent of the day. Chameleon by Zoologist. And you'll be seeing a lot more about that and Dodo on mine and Dan's channels. So, I wonder what the naturals versus synthetics are in there um, I have no idea but I would imagine there's probably a fair amount of synthetics as there generally are in perfumes so what do we all think do perfumes that are all natural are they better do you think or worse or so so do you prefer a higher amount of naturals do you agree with synthetics? Do you think naturals are better for your skin? I'll tell you what I think and what I know. I know that there's a reason why synthetics are used and there, well, there are a lot of reasons why synthetics are used. Number one, naturals are more likely to be damaging to the skin than synthetics. So synthetics have been created specifically to be used in the manner that they're meant to be used in, i.e. in a perfume on your skin. So therefore they will be making them with, whilst ensuring that there's nothing harmful that's going to prevent them being able to be used in the manner in which they're able to be used in. If that makes sense. I'm pretty sure that synthetics are created to smell great but not have any contra indications on your skin. Naturals on the other hand can be very damaging to the skin. So for example a lot of the citrus naturals they can cause your skin to be more reactive because they're quite acidic so it's not good to have high level of natural citruses on your skin. Lemon is very, very acidic. It's not good for your skin. You have to dilute it quite a lot before you really want to be letting that touch your skin. Also, if you only use naturals, you're very reliant on nature to be able to recreate the perfume exactly as it was created. So you've got one harvest of one field of roses but then if the weather changes, and especially with climate change, the weather changes and the next batch of roses don't smell quite the same or maybe you can't even get them because they all got destroyed in a, a drought or a flood. So you have to use a different field of roses. Then they're not gonna smell the same. Not to mention the cost of extracting essential oils from products so for example jasmine is very expensive and they, I think they, they generally would be hand-picked when they're most fragrant which I think is sort of like midnight or something so you have to pay people to go out and pick them at a certain time and then there's the whole uh, getting the fragrance out of the plant into a concentrated oil so that's really expensive but if it can be made in a factory and smell just as good for much much less cost then that can't be a bad thing but I think we all we all like the idea that we're wearing something very very special it's nice to know that your perfume contain, contains real oris butter because we know that that's one of the most expensive ingredients you can possibly have that may be real oud <laughs> um, Narcissus absolute even the, even the rose extracts are very, very expensive. Uh, vanilla Absolute, apparently the cost has just gone like crazy through the roof just because of certain conditions and, and you know how rare it is and how hard it is to actually get. So if a fragrance smells good, but it's mostly synthetic, is that a problem? Would you still rather wear a natural fragrance? I personally prefer 
I like to know that there's some good natural ingredients in my fragrances. That does make me feel good about it. You know, if I know for a fact that there's a real Madagascan vanilla, it makes me feel a little bit good, you know. Uh, but at the same time, I'm quite happy to wear a fragrance that's a little bit cheaper, that's made from cheaper ingredients, if it makes me happy and I smell really good and I enjoy it. So, the reason for this conversation is because Sarah McCartney from 4,160 Tuesdays, along with Christy Long, who runs the Facebook group, Oh My Soul, are collaborating on something which I think is amazing and is really going to showcase whether there is any difference or not between naturals and synthetics. So they're creating a fragrance called Clouds, and they're actually creating two versions. There's one called Clouds, and there's one called Clouds Illusion, based on the Joni Mitchell song. Both, both sides of love, I think. I've looked at love from both sides now. I think it's that one. Anyway, there's this backstory behind it, and I'll link the video that Sarah McCartney's done on it. And if you want to find out more, go and join Oh My Soul on Facebook. But what's happening is there's going to be two versions one is going to be made with all naturals so you're going to get the real oris butter the real narcissus absolute and you're going to get real vanilla absolute it or you can choose to have clouds illusion which is made with the synthetic oris narcissus and vanilla but what they're doing which i think is amazing is whatever you choose you have a sample of the equivalent so if you choose to buy the cheaper synthetic option, you're still going to get a sample of the fragrance that's got all the naturals in it. If you choose to buy the more expensive option, you're going to get a sample of the one with the synthetics in it. So you can compare them yourself. I mean, it's genius. I'm totally getting on board. It's a crowdfunding thing. You have you place your order now. I think you've got probably a few weeks to do so. And it, the fragrance should be with you around June time. The notes sound amazing. As I said already, you've got Narcissus, Oris, and Vanilla. I think there's Hay, and I can't remember the other notes, but each and every single note is something that I love in a fragrance. So I'm absolutely getting on board. What I'm doing is that I'm actually going to Paris tomorrow with Dan, and I'm planning to be a little bit spendy. I'm gonna see what, what money I've got left after that, and I'm going to buy the cheaper, the synthetic version because I'm tight but check out uh, all the links I've chucked down in the description box below do let me know what you think do you like an all-natural perfume so all naturals do get a bad rap from some areas of Fragcon because they're said to be not very long-lasting and not very well performing and I personally think in all, I, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about all naturals myself because I have quite sensitive skin. I don't know if you can see my rashes at the moment, but I've always got a perfume rash going on because I'm quite sensitive. And actually a pure synthetic thing works better for me. I do notice that naturals are a bit aggravating. I'm kind of in, I'm, I'm in the pro camp, but I do like a mixture and I do like to know there's some good stuff going on in my fragrance as well as synthetics. But do let me know what you think as well and I will catch you in the next video.